Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin, the Katie Hill Farmer. Right now we're getting the buggy. We are getting it loaded up. We got to go pull a tree stand and hopefully be able to get to it. So we got the steel 462 and back the buggy. I may also cut a load of firewood while we're out there and uh, see what we can get into. Hopefully when we get back up over the hill because it can be a pain in the butt sometimes out where we're going if there's any snow on it probably won't even try it but uh today's kind of just going to be a farm little farm vlog uh, going out getting some tree stands feeding the cattle stuff like that if you're interested stick stay tuned here towards the end hopefully if it's still there i'd like to show you a surprise i don't know if it's still there or not but st stick around towards the end of the video guys try to show you that uh it's getting pretty muddy out the weather has got warmer and with all the snow and ice which we needed i mean we really needed uh some moisture we had a pretty dry summer last year so uh any moisture as well as you can see when you're hay spearing hay make sure your fan's out of the way yeah so uh, that's what happens when you get in a hurry we'll get that beat back out but you guys can see i got some corn right there i keep my feet in the 55 gallon drums for the cattle I need to find me a deep freeze but just ain't found one yet so you guys can see cows are up there they're munching on some hay right now so they're well no they're actually munching on some grass we will feed them and uh today hopefully since the rain's coming in i like to get them fed and uh but anyhow guys this video is probably gonna be a little shaky today i'm using a, a iphone my gopro just ain't working and i don't want to take my real good camera out so but uh anyhow we're going to get going here we'll show you some footage along the way and we're going to probably throw in some bags of corn over there and get some, uh, go check the feeders while we're out and about. I got to remember to throw that toolbox in there because I keep the handle for the feeder in the toolbox. So let's go ahead and we'll see what happens here, guys. Stick around for the ride. It's kind of a nice day out, probably in the 40s right now. Rain's coming. That's why I got to get this stuff in. All right, guys, let's see what happens. I want to stop here a minute at the deer feeder and show you uh, you can see it's pretty well muddy mess down there now this is February there's no hunting right now where I am from so I guess what I'm getting at is you know a lot of people feed deer uh, during hunting season but we've had snow on the ground probably since uh, middle of January they're just now, like I said, I'm on top of the ridge up here. And we're now to the point where, you know, as you can see, there's not much snow. There is now in the lower parts, but uh, you got to, I, I feed them all year round. And I usually bring up some 16% protein feed to them too. If I know it's going to be dry, I'll put it down there. And they got salt, minerals, all that stuff. I've actually... But that's when deer need it the most, guys, is when you have snow on the ground. And that's just my opinion. You know, yeah, they'll browse off the bushes and stuff. But, yeah. And, and we, we've not had a real bad snows, but it's just been on the ground forever. So, you know, keep that in back of your mind. But we still got to go all the way back out on the ridge. As you can see, we got some trees down from the windstorm there the other night. Hopefully, we can get out there without having to cut anything up. I like to try to make it a quick trip. 
but uh today we're in the viking 23rd or <laughs> i'm trying to talk about the tractor we're in the viking 700 and as you can see i got everything in the back we're ready to go we just gotta we just gotta get out there and hopefully back i'm not gonna try that hill uh it is a little wet but if it has snow on it i won't try it at all because that'll just be a recipe for having to bring the tractor out here to pull the buggy back up over the hill but here is the view from up on top of the ridge and this is actually i think the second highest point in our county so well we're almost at the second highest point we gotta go up one more hill but uh you get the point but also guys if you would remember to go check out the instagram facebook and twitter at katie hill farmer also to the new subscribers come catch a live stream guys we give away john deer hats and some other i got some other ideas in the works we're working on some t-shirts for the channel maybe some hats and uh yeah it's usually a good time we talk about anything and everything the tractors uh just just a whole bunch of everything and if you guys have pictures of your uh tractor setups you know email them to me at katiehillfarmer at gmail.com and uh i'll share them on the social medias we just shared a subscriber uh on his 2038r his snowblower setup also if you guys ain't checked him out check out elk creek rib elk creek farms excuse me he just put a frontier rear snowblower on his 2038r looks like a pretty good deal they get a lot of snow up there so go ahead and check him out guys let's go ahead and head up on the ridge here okay guys we made it uh to give you a I don't know if this gives you any idea how steep it is. There ain't no snow. I don't think we'll have a problem in making it back out here. Here's a tree stand. And what I do is there's a flat that runs right through here. And there's a flat down there. We've got a big field down there. But as you can see, it's so daggone brushy around here that it's just, I don't know, it's a good place to hunt but i didn't really do that great this year you can tell you know something's coming down through here but uh when it's summer this is just so daggone thick you can't it, it's hard to walk through but uh yeah that's what this is one of the places i do hunt and i didn't want to leave the tree stand out here this actually is not mine uh so i've had some tree stands took but to give you an idea how steep that ridge is it's pretty steep so but it's a shame we got some nice locusts down here we could cut i like to I like to lease this but you know it don't always work out like that but anyhow guys this is this is it i mean it's nice to come out here and that's why i didn't pull the tree stand gives you a reason to come out and kind of get back out in the woods a little bit we should well ramp season should start here soon probably in april ish i would say and uh you can find you some nice ramps out in here uh i usually i know of a couple patches i'll go dig here and there i don't dig them all up by any means but you can't tell anybody about them because man when they find out they just come they will rape it but uh anyhow guys this is it like i said this is my tree stand i might cut that old tree down while i'm here i don't know yet i ain't made up my mind uh i don't think the the landowner won't care so i may cut it down i talked to him about it and he he, he really didn't give too much so anyhow we're going to get this tree stand we're going to take you back on top of the ridge we'll give you a nice view of it up there and uh be a nice place to build a house one day it really would but this is kind of just what i'm doing today i'm going out and you know cleaning some things up we'll get the cows fed and i don't know see what else we get into but kind of just relaxing today it's friday so uh, we've been working our butts off and just wanted to come out here relax hopefully i don't have to fight coming back up the hill if i do there's a trail right here 
that I can, I have to cut that log out of the way, but I can go out it and, or I could probably go straight down over the hill, I guess, since I have a saw with me, but yeah, this is it. Like I said, this is one of my probably top five places to hunt where I live, but I like to put a feeder on this flat one day. I, I just don't, uh, I like to lease it first before I do. That way, I ain't saying I want to be controlling, but I can control it a little bit better. You can see there's still a lot of snow over in there on the ridge. So. But, well, yeah, let's get this tree stand down. And uh, actually, I got this tree stand to deal off of Facebook and with a, along with a bunch of other stuff. But we'll get it tore down, throw back in the buggy, and uh, I might film coming back out of here. I don't know. It all depends on how how bad it is but i don't think it's gonna be too bad so but let's get this off here and uh see what happens okay guys here we go we're gonna head back up on the hill got it full drive got it high gear that way i can clean the tires let's go top as you can see there's probably still four inches of snow packed right here you get snow up here when down in there don't a lot of times but as you can see it'd be beautiful i had a house here it cost you a fortune to build it and get utilities to it but it would be beautiful to have one over that way as you can see the mountains but yeah pretty nice up here the only bad part is you got the old slate dump over there i guess you could see but we'll have to probably reclaim that i'm sure one day but as you can think see too as thick as it is up here on top of this ridge deer just love that i mean the bad part is they'll get in there and sit down and you, you'll never see them so but uh anyhow that's it hopefully as you can see, we didn't have no problems coming up over the hill. Let's hope it it stays like that. But uh, I'm hoping I can make his turn not slide down over the hill because you got to make a turn, go back up that way. But we should be fine. Like I said, I've cleared all this out with the John Deere 2038R. This used to be just like this right here. And this is where I stopped where that brush is piled up. Cause it was getting it was a little bit uh wet when i was doing it and uh just didn't want to bury the tractor up here because it's a long ways to get somebody to come pull you out so but uh very nice up here very 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 nice i could uh i could live up here in a heartbeat uh as you can tell you got a nice little town over there uh but i'm wanting to i forget I don't know where that would be at. I think I know, but I'm going to say it's the old number seven mine camp. But anyhow, we're going to get out of here. We got the tree stand in the back. As you can see right there, we have it back there. And we're going to head down off the ridge. We may stop and I'm going to check the feeder and see if it needs corn. But anyhow, but <clears throat> if I don't, guys, thanks for watching appreciate all you guys do like i said this is a little kind of different and this is kind of just uh what i'm doing today so but as you can see it's pretty tight getting through here you got a tree here and a tree there but all right guys 